For a long time, Windows users have been able to enjoy Adaptive Sync. This technology allows your monitor to dynamically change its refresh rate to match the frame rate of your game and GPU. This improves responsiveness and latency and reduces input lag. Fortunately, the process of getting it to work on Linux is not complicated, but the necessary requirements can be hard to figure out. For the purposes of this video, I'll be concentrating on AMD's implementation of Adaptive Sync called FreeSync. The requirements are straightforward, but can be difficult to research. Number one, you will need a monitor that supports FreeSync. Number two, a GPU that supports FreeSync. It is possible to get an NVIDIA GPU that is G-Sync capable working with a FreeSync monitor, but that is beyond the scope of this video. Number three, a DisplayPort cable, and obviously an available DisplayPort connector on your GPU and display. I've had zero luck with HDMI ports and cables. And number four, your game and GPU must be able to sustain frame rates between 48 FPS and your monitor's maximum refresh rate. Or, your monitor must support low frame rate compensation, also known as LFC. Some other conditions can break adaptive sync. For example, multiple monitor desktops or certain desktop environments and or compositors. In order to get this working, you may have to change your gaming desktop environment to something lightweight like LXDE or XFCE. In my case, I've gone with XFCE, which allows you to completely disable the compositor. A compositor is software that enables certain fancy effects like transparency. Compositors can prevent the use of adaptive sync and may also reduce game performance, so I generally disable them on systems intended for gaming. If needed, check your distribution's documentation for information on how to install and enable alternate desktop environments. Once you've made sure all these requirements are met, you will need to manually enable adaptive sync in your xorg.conf file or alternatively in slash etc slash x11 slash xorg.conf.d slash 20 dash amdgpu.conf. If this file does not exist, in other words you're using xorg's autoconfig function, then you can simply copy and paste the following into a blank file at slash etc slash x11 slash xorg.conf.d slash 20 dash amdgpu.conf. Please note that the tear-free option may not be strictly necessary. Also, this will only work with AMD GPUs that support the AMD GPU Linux driver. If there's enough interest, I may do a video on how to enable FreeSync with an NVIDIA GPU. Most likely, that is all you will need to do to enable FreeSync. You can check to see if it's working properly by first running XR and R from the command line, which will give you some basic information about your active monitor. Once you've determined which output you're using, here you can see that I'm using DisplayPort-0 on my R9 Fury, then run XRNR a second time with the dash dash verbose option, and then scroll to the active port, DisplayPort-0 in my case. If the VRR underscore capable flag is set to 1, then you should be ready to go. In most games, running your game full screen, not windowed borderless, and with VSync enabled should ensure that FreeSync is working. Objectively determining if it is really functioning might be difficult if you're not a competitive gamer. Fortunately, some monitors let you monitor the refresh rate in real time with an on-screen display. Here you can see where my monitor is dynamically changing my refresh rate to match my game's frame rate. You may need to explore your monitor's OSD settings or check your display's manual to find out how to enable real-time feedback. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Thank you very much. Goodbye.